Christmas and the holiday season is right around the corner. So what do you get the guy in your life, whether it's your brother, your husband, your son, whatever? What are the things that you're going to get? Well, today I'm going to compile a list and I'm going to share with you ideas that I got from other guys in a dad's group, as well as ideas of things that I think would be valuable that I think you uh, should consider and take a look at. So I will give you all that information. I'll also give you links in the description below to all the things that I talk about. And hopefully this is helpful. Let me know also what things that I talk about that you think are really great. Um, give a thumbs up if you like something and also tell me in the comments what it is that you, you like. Share other ideas that you haven't seen in my video. So let's get into it. I'll show you on the screen a number of the different items on Amazon so you can take a look at them too and some of the ones I recommend. Also, you'll be able to take a look at some of the videos that I've done before and take a look at some of the some of the things that we've done there. So first thing I'll do is go through the list of what the dads uh, had said in the dads group and just kind of read some of those off to you. And then from there, we'll go over to Amazon and go through a number of them that, that I recommend. So on the dads group, we had one person said a Home Depot gift card. Another one said Apple Watch, dumbbells, or a weight bench. Um, Another one says, hoping not to get random crap. <laughs> so I asked what that meant. He said, yeah, he didn't want to get a U.S. US flag suspenders. Um, another person said, Lee Valley gift card, which was in Canada. So anybody from Canada, definitely give a thumbs up. Tell me if you know what Lee Valley is. And, you know, maybe that's something. I personally would like a Harbor Freight gift card. I mean, that might be a way to go. I like Harbor Freight tools. I'm going to try to make this short. So I'm, you know, apologies if I'm talking a little fast. Um, someone said shirts and a suit, Yeti coffee mug was an option. I know there's a lot of cheaper options than Yeti, but those are options. And keep in mind, I'll put all the links to, uh, ones that I found on Amazon in the description below. So if any of those are of interest to you, you can go ahead and grab them from down there. Uh, decline weight bench. Somebody else said, said, uh, incline, you know, to allow them to do sit-ups. Um, someone said bone conduction, aftershock headphones, books were options, ammo, that's up to you to decide on how to go with that one. Um, family staying together, someone said a, a uh, action camera, obviously I did a few videos on GoPros as well as videos on another action camera that's inexpensive. Um, someone said anything by Milwaukee, so obviously tools. And if you wanna go a little less expensive, I had a couple drills and other tools that I've done also some videos. So again, on all these things, check out some of my other videos to get some ideas. Uh, Perception Outlaw 11.5. I'm not really sure what that is. AirPods was another option and we'll talk about our alternatives to those. Air compressors, you know, those are the type of things. So let's go ahead again. Now we're going to go over to Amazon and I'm going to talk about some of the things that, that I potentially recommend. So maybe a monitor. So if, if you're working from home this year, an extra monitor can be very helpful. So, you know, you may want to just check out some different monitors. If you're going to do that, you'll definitely need HDMI cables. So make sure you get those and have them available. What might be kind of cool and is inexpensive is a Chromecast. Uh, most people now have a TV that will do Chromecast. But if not, you can get a Chromecast in probably around the $30 range right here. Uh, this allows you to hook this into an HDMI and then you can use this on your TV to cast things from your phone to your TV and so on. So I've had one for a long time and I do like them. I've had the first generation and several generations and I think they're really cool. Um, cell phones. I'm going to do another video talking about 5G, but I think that's something that you, you guys will be the first to hear. I don't think unless you live in a major city, a 5G phone is really that valuable in 2020. So there's my answer on that. It's it's too soon. Uh, I'm outside of the DC area and there's really no good 5G where I am. So I, I don't know that it makes sense to get a phone with 5G just to have that. Maybe wait till next year until the technology is more widespread out there. Um, external battery chargers. And I would especially say with USB-C. I, like, I had tested one by Cell Helmet, which is good. I would say you probably don't want to go less than, you know, maybe 5,000 milliamp hours, but 10,000 is going to be the sweet spot. It's going to be really nice. So you're going to want, want something around that 10,000 milliamp hour range. And so, you know, there's plenty of options there. 
The solar, it's more of a gimmick, it's just gonna cost you more money. What other things? Well, if you have a uh, USB-C uh, computer, you might wanna get some kind of hub. And what that does is allow you to use this USB port to then expand into other ports. And I did a review on one of these a while ago. They're not expensive, and it's kind of easy to just create a, uh, a hub that you can put a whole bunch of other things into right from a USB-C port. So that's pretty cool. It also can be used from, to connect your phone to a computer also, uh, or to all these peripherals. So kind of cool. Tablets. Uh, I'm going to say that iPad and also the latest Samsungs, whether it's the, um, you know, the Samsung uh, Tab S7 is the latest. And they're expensive, but they have a stylus, really nice to draw on. Same with Apple and iPads. So that's an option as well. Keep in mind that a tablet outside of the Surface, a tablet is not a full-fledged computer. It doesn't have all the things that a computer can do. Another thing, and I'll show you one of the ones that I've reviewed lately, is um, an EarPod knockoff. The latest EarPods, Apple has finally gotten away from this design and put on a rubber piece so that it could seal nicely in your ear. Uh, I don't really like the ear pods that much. They're okay, but you're not going to get as good a sound if you don't have the rubber piece because it doesn't fit in your ear really well. Uh, some of the ones I've looked at and done reviews are um, AKG makes some nice one. So something like these here. This I had these ones and they're pretty cool. Uh, you know, Galaxy Buds. Samsung owns AKG. Uh, another thing you might be interested in for someone is microphones. So if they're doing podcasts, they might want to do something like a Blue Yeti, which is really nice. Those are one of the best USB microphones where you can just plug it right into um, plug it right into your computer with a USB cord. Then they have these other ones where you need the extra cord and then you need a phantom power source like a um, Zoom H4n. So if you want to just plug it right into your computer, a Blue Yeti is really good. Mm -hmm. Another one that's fantastic is um, Comica makes some really nice stuff. One of the ones that I've reviewed before is, well, this one I'm about to review right here. Uh, this guy right here. So that's, keep an eye out for that video to come out. This one as well I've reviewed and I have. I like it. I think that's another option, another alternative to the, um, to the Blue Yeti. So something to keep in mind as well. Smart watches. So anybody who has an Apple and an iPhone will potentially want an Apple watch. Uh, you can always go a, a model or two back. You can even get the Series 3 or 4 for significantly less expensive than the current ones. And even the SE is a little bit less expensive, which is the current model, but it's kind of a uh, you know lower, more entry level based on some of the older technology. But you can get a Series 3, which is still a solid watch. Um, for you know around 200 bucks under 200 bucks let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are personally for me i have the galaxy watch and so i have the galaxy watch the first one so this is galaxy watch three um, and i think it's the galaxy active was the two but here's the one i have the galaxy watch and it's a fantastic watch battery lasts about three days and build quality is fantastic and i've had some older ones too so um, of the Samsung watches. I've had a number of them. I like Galaxy watches better than the um, Android ones, especially if you have a Samsung phone for sure. Another thing that's nice is a wireless keyboard and I actually got the Surface keyboard, but an, an ergonomic keyboard is absolutely outstanding. I sit at my desk a lot and so to have the ergonomic keyboard, it keeps my arms back, keeps me more upright, keeps me straighter at my desk, which is nice helps keep your shoulders back and that kind of thing. So, um, you know, I would look at for Microsoft ergonomic keyboards. This one, I don't know, maybe that's okay too. So it's really not expensive. Uh, here's kind of around similar to one that, I, that I've gotten here. You know, if you're gonna get a wired one, it's gonna be less expensive than the, uh, the wireless, which is Bluetooth and mine's wireless Bluetooth. Uh, but I love the padding on here. I love the, the big bump here and, you know, the directions to which your hand goes on, which is really nice. So maybe a wireless keyboard. The other thing, and I'm using this right now, I'm using my external webcam and I have a Logitech webcam and I definitely recommend Logitech in almost anything. So I have the Logitech C920 
um, which is this guy right here. And so that's definitely a nice 1080p camera. Do you need a 4K webcam? Probably not, especially considering that it's just going to eat up more bandwidth if you're going the direction of, you know, online meetings and such. So 1080p is fantastic and Logitech is an awesome product. Um, cameras, GoPros, camera lenses. If you're in the cameras, maybe, you know, like a 50 millimeter lens, Canon or Nikon, if you, you know, the person in your life likes cameras, 50 millimeter or 35 millimeter uh, prime lens, meaning it's just that focus. The nice thing is uh, 1.8, it, it's basically a large opening that lets more light in uh, and it's, they're, they're nice. You're gonna get a much better, clearer picture with those than a kit lens. Um, then I've done a number of shavers. So, um, you know, uh, cordless shavers, Panasonic and Braun, I think are gonna be your two best models. So I'll put links to my videos below if you're interested in seeing some of my shaver videos. Braun Series 5 and Series 7 are good. Uh, Panasonic Arc 4 and Arc 5, also really good. Um, then stuff for the car. Maybe you need jumper cables or an emergency kit in the car. If you don't have Bluetooth already in your radio, maybe an external Bluetooth kit. And Rove makes a really nice one. Uh, tooth adapter for your car. Um, I don't have this one, so I can't speak to it. And I don't really like the idea of putting it over the radio because if the radio signal isn't good, it's not going to come out as well. But I had one that's basically wired and you put it into the... I'll see if I can find it here real quick, but wired and you can put it into from Bluetooth on your phone into a, a jack, which is going to be much better. It's going to give you better sound quality than a, a non, uh, you know, something like this it would be good. Aki, I guess I've heard, heard of them, but something like, something like a wire, a wired connection into your audio would be the best option. And you know, that's, that's kind of like overall a real quick rundown of the things I'd potentially recommend. Comment below what, what other ideas, what things haven't I discussed that you're saying, hey, I definitely get this from my husband, my brother, you know, the guy in your life. Let me know what other things that you have in mind down below. If this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing and uh, check out some of my other videos. I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care.